what sparked your interest to become an optometrist? Well, I can't see. Um, I don't <laughs> see well. <laughs> I never could see well. And I was always at the eye doctor. And I just thought this could be fun. He was a lot of fun to talk to. He always remembered my name. He remembered my brother's names. He knew, you know, it was just always a fun conversation. And then you come out and you can see better. So it seemed like a great option. I think that the fallback was always teaching because my parents were teachers, my aunts, uncles, grand aunts, uncles, all my parents, friends, just teachers. So I lived in a classroom and assumed well, if not optometry, then teaching, right? Um, but I think with my parents, they always kind of pushed me to think outside of teaching. And in seventh grade, I had a teacher that created a project where we had to pick a profession. And once you pick the profession, you needed to pick the city you wanted to live in. You needed to create a budget and kind of plan out your life, right? And I decided I was going to leave Florida because hometown for me is Miami, Florida. I said, I'm not going to live in Florida. I'm going to live in the Northeast. I picked optometry, researched it, looked into it, realized that you could have flexible hours. The pay was better than teaching. You could still get to talk to people. Um, you know, just so many opportunities for growth in the profession. And I felt like, OK, worst case scenario, I'll just go back to teaching or I will also teach because you can be in this profession, as you well know, as a pharmacist and still give back in academia. So it just seemed like the perfect fit for me. 